Okay, so programming this radio like couldn't be any easier. So you plug your radio in with the um, USB cable, so any Bofeng like UV5R USB cable will work. Um, turn the radio on and you just open this software, it's the KDC1 software which is available if you just Google search it, it's available on um, on the internet freely. Um, so you just download that, that software um, and open it up and you just click on read and it'll read the radio. It's as easy as that. Um, it's so simple. To set the communication port, you just click on that and set your port. Um, and you can just edit edit the frequencies um, that you've got in it like that. So um, you just put put your frequency in. Simple as that. If you've got a, if you've got um, a step in there, you can you can put that in separately here. You can put your decode and um, encode CTCSS on. So for repeaters, you you'd use encode. Um, transmit power high, um, low. It, these are two watts either way, so it makes no difference whether you have it on high or low. Um, you can add it to the scan list or take it away from the scan list and your channel spacing so wide or narrow um, so yeah really really easy stuff you just click on um, optional features there um, and it goes through your squelch your timeout timeout timer voice prompts and um, what you want the function and um, button to do so I've set mine to scan Vox if you need it and um, battery save and the beep and um, you'll need the English um, kept on so you know what channel you're on like I said you won't you won't know what channel you're on unless you've got that on so uh, yeah you just click on OK on that and then right to the radio and it's as simple as that and everything in there is um, is done and ready to go so that's how you program the WLN KDC1film this on the GoPro because um, there's not a lot of room in the car so uh, this just makes things a little bit easier where there's, uh, where there's no space um, so I've printed off a, a sheet here um, don't know if you can if you can make that out but basically I've um, got some repeaters that are program programmed into this um, this little w, uh, WLM radio um, and uh, we'll see uh, see what repeaters we can open um, most of them on um, on the radio up here, on the on the mobile radio, I can usually open them. Um, Stoke on Trent, Huddersfield, um, Preston. Um, I don't think we'll open them or Stafford. Um, Huddersfield because there's hills behind me. Um, Stoke on Trent because of the hills to the left of me. Uh, Preston because of uh, Winter Hill, um, and Stafford again because of the hills to the left of me. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can uh, see what can open as well uh, blackpool sometime depending on conditions i can open from up here on the mobile radio but um we're going to use this uh, this one which is on uh, on 2 watts um just on on battery power and we'll uh, we'll see what we can open so i'm just going to open the repeater and just say uh, my call sign and, and we're, that we're testing i'm not really looking for any qso's at the moment but we'll see um see what we can get okay so the first one is uh, is gb3 whiskey papa in hyde which is 1.6 miles away M3HHY mobile testing. Okay, so that opened uh, absolutely fine there, no problem as you'd expect. Uh, next one on the list, GB3PZ uh, um, in Duckingfield at 2.4 miles away. M3HHY testing access. Yep, so we uh, we got into uh, PZ, no problem. Uh, KU in Ashton Underline, that's 5.4 miles away. We'll see, uh, see if we can get into that one. M3HHY mobile testing. Yep, so no issues from KU there. If we uh, move up, oops. if we move up, that's um, splatter from the uh, the towers that are just just behind me. Um, so GB3 MO in Disley, and we'll try that one. Yep, no problem into there. Uh, Nine point seven miles away. A lot of uh, a lot of noise up here. Uh, Huddersfield, um, we won't get into. Definitely not. Stoke on Trent, definitely not. Preston, we'll just give it a try. M3HHY testing. No, nope. nothing from Preston. Liverpool. Should be finished by that, hopefully. Done a fair bit. Yeah, they're always bound up living low, don't they? Don't you buy our house? We've got a little hot there, innit? Okay, so Liverpool, 40 miles away. Um, you know, receiving that really yeah, clear from up here. here. Um, we'll definitely get into that. Yeah, it took them about six yep. months, though. Got the with it. Mold, um, GB3 CR, 47.6 miles away. M3HHY, mobile testing access, GB3 CR. 
Yep, it's five and nine down here, 47 miles away. Uh, Blackpool. M3HHY testing. Oh, nothing from Blackpool and Landlord no. M3HHY testing GB3LL. Yep, so Landlord no repeater, 75 miles away, um, is open. Sorry about the noise there, guys. Um, it's uh, a lot of splatter from the transmitters on the, on this hill, but um, you know this uh, this little radio, this little two watt radio, is um, is good on this tiny antenna, uh, 75 miles away. Um, into uh, into a repeater. Obviously, uh, fully aware that the uh, Land No repeater is um, is uh, is elevated, uh, and I'm elevated. So it's a clear line of sight, but I think 75 miles for um, you know for um, a little uh, a little UHF two watt radio with uh, with an antenna of that size is uh, is quite impressive. So uh, so yeah, so it was a rush video. Um, not ideal with that uh, that noise splattering the way, but. Um, there we uh, there we go. Hope uh, hope you found that useful. Um, handy little radio for the uh, for the price of about fifteen quid. It's just crazy, you know. He just bought what was good at the time. So um, yeah, but well, this one's got lucky windows again now. So it's happy days. The only figures I've got on this, I've got a temperature gauge on it. That's gone on this one. You want have temperature on it? Well, it's got a gauge and it doesn't work, or there isn't one fitted. Uh, there is one fitted on this one. Yeah, I think you'll find more and more new stuff is doing that. They've just got an idiot light. Like the uh, the oil pressure light, the same way the oil pressure light's gone, same way your alternator. You haven't got a voltage gauge anymore, you've got the light. You've got oil pressure gauge or temperature, you've just got a light. Temperature, has gone the same. That's uh, the way it's going. It's cheapness, isn't it? It's cheaper. Right guys, well I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it's really nice little radio, dead easy to use, um, perfect for your back pocket. Um, so yeah, maybe uh, maybe you'll decide to get one. I uh, don't know, but if you like what you see on this channel, give it a like and um, give us a thumbs up. Drop some suggestions in the comments below. It keeps me motivated to make these videos and to enjoy the hobby, um, which is what we're here to do. So uh, yeah, any feedback, um, any ideas, any suggestions is really really much appreciated. So um, fire away. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Seven three for now.